need to be here. Uh, these events only happen thanks to people like Jose Luis, who are able to gather this, the people here. So, um, the name of my presentation is the uh, change matter, change matter man management in 17 syllables. So we'll uh, show you pictures of Tim Abdelwadov, a uh, great photographer, and you will learn uh, haikus. You know these um, poems that come from Japan. So the change I will talk to you about is not about um, foreseeable changes of uh, you know season changes going from spring to summer and fall. No, uh, changes where you can take part in or, or because when you take part because other people try to uh, to get you in. So I will not tell you what you have to do. I will just uh, show you what has worked for me. So there's two things in change. There's a, a leader. This is the first circle. Then the second circle is to uh, is the shared knowledge. We can find here people who are involved in change. And then the third one is the communication plan to make things happen. So the three circles have to be uh, embedded. And you cannot start a change process if you don't have those three elements. Now we have uh, a picture of Chima Madas. And uh, the important thing is that changes have to happen at the same time. You're, you're not the only ones who are uh, you know, bringing about a change, you will have other changes uh, brought about by other people. So we will start with people. So there's a lot of capital coming in. There's not so much ideas, but there's a lot of capital. And there's not that many leaders. There's less leaders than ideas. So if you're a leader, you have an idea, and you can uh, carry out your idea, you're worth much more than the investor that is putting on money. You're doing a bit favor to him. You do not have to apologize for asking for, for financing. You know, you are the, the one who is putting the idea uh, forward. So there's a great book from Emily Dickinson. And uh, I've been asked in 17 syllables how you get to the uh, soul basement. And uh, the, qu the answer is, you need to go down uh, on your own. So the leader has to go there on his own. He knows he's not perfect. He knows he can do things. He went to the basement, but he will go back up with someone else. So I would suggest you go down to the basement, but you need to take someone with you on your way up. So it allows you to know yourself. This picture is uh, from Juan Madaf again, and I define myself as a compass. So you design otherness uh, in circles. So that means that the circle's uh, radius is uh, designed by you, not by the other ones. You design the center. You put your foot on the ground with your own values. But you can draw all the circles you want with that compass. Then we have Robinson Crusoe. He was a big leader in times of change. Do you know uh, what made him uh, someone, you know, someone huge. It was his uh, strategy game. So he knew how to change the position of his feet. Instead of considering himself an explorer, he would, uh, you know, look at the moon and know that he was, uh, you know, sinking with the boat. And he knew that it was okay with that. So then there's uh, another circle, the shared knowledge. Uh, and, uh, you know, when at 7 a.m. Uh, there's the alarm clock uh, going off, there's nothing that will make me move, uh, you know, the, the uh, company's revenue or, or fame or prestige. I will not get up, you know. I will put a subject to that object, and then I will leave my house. Uh, there's uh, a lot of families that will be able to to eat food because of uh, your idea, for instance. That would be great. Or maybe you can uh, send your, your children to the United States to study. So when you put someone there, a subject, and you know why you're doing things, 
defend, you can make change happen. If you only do it because of something, uh, prestige or money, you will not succeed. So this haiku is interesting here. So there's, uh, they all have 17 syllables, but they're all mine. So you can just look it up if you want. In this one, you can read it from the top to the bottom, but also from the right to the left. So uh, the right to the left is like how uh, managers see themselves throughout their career. You, you see yourself reflected on a mirror. You're surrounded with uh, people who tell you how well you write, how well you speak, but then the reality is not a mirror. It's uh, it's glass. You know, you need to understand that it's glass and not a mirror. You, so you need to be transparent with others, and then you will. It will be easier for you to succeed. If not, they will see that other people will see that you're looking at yourself in a mirror. Then, um, time and energy. You know, a lot of people give courses about how to manage time, etc. But we do not have to manage time. We need to manage energy. I don't know if you've seen. Uh, someone coming into your office, you have a small chat with that person, and in five minutes, it will, you know, drain your energy, so it will really destroy you. It's only five minutes, but he's really destroyed me. So it's not about managing time. In a team, there's a shared knowledge, so those two extra minutes, I will use it for a, a poetry uh, workshop. You know, you deserve it, really. No, I'm kidding. But um, so you really need to manage the team's energy, not you know, not about the time uh, to manage the team. So then there's a, another thing I recommend to you. It's a Sackleton uh, compass. He wanted to walk across the Atlantic, but he couldn't do it. So the Antarctic. Sorry. So he did something important. He tried to save his, his crew and uh, send his crew back to the United Kingdom. So what do they say in that book? So he was a leader with uh, the ability to see threats before the others. He could generate empathy amongst the team. So not the team with him, but between, amongst the team, you know. So then he could also instill this uh, sense of hope, and people would trust what he said. So you can uh, look up Sackleton in your, in your environment and see if you find him. But then there's a third circle. It's, like, it's about communication and make uh, change happen. So this is for us to think about it. This is a picture from uh, Chema again. You can see the drain. And he never thought they could be used as a dish rack. But the real change uh, with those dishes is that he, uh, you know, he created an artwork with this picture. This is the real change, the exponential change, not the marginal change. When you speak about change or you prepare your communication related to change, this is a uh, handmade drawing. Uh, sorry, it's quite bad, but it really reflects what I think. Um, the further uh, the things you don't have, the, l uh, the more you value them. And uh, when you have those things, you don't value them that much. So um, I don't want you to be sad and uh, you know remind you of people that are not with you anymore, that have uh, you know, passed away. But um, you need to know what you will talk about in your communication play plan. You will have an influence on people when people do not have something or when they think they can lose it. Uh, we hear a lot of politicians focusing on what you have, on keeping uh, what you already have. This is a picture I took in uh, Tenerife, the Canary Islands in Spain. And this is, we should give it a, a communication award because the seller of this property is uh, really amazing. It says it, we almost give it away. And you know, you make people smile and you make people want to call you. And that's a, a really great thing. What do you think about uh, solitude and silence in uh, communication?
said there's another book I would recommend to you, uh, The Five Islands of the Lighthouse. So one lighthouse is send, um, sending a signal that's unique. Uh, there's no lighthouse with the same light coming out of the lighthouse you know, as the other ones. Then it's adapted to the, the speaker. If there's the one who's uh, the, you know, in the sea, knows where the lighthouse is. It cannot only see a light, it knows where it is. And then uh, when there's the noise around, uh, you cannot see the light coming out of the, the lighthouse. Or when there's fog, sorry. And um, the lighthouse is made of concrete, but when uh, you are riding through a storm, you do not see that. You see uh, something that uh, really gives you, uh, you know, uh, the, the certainty that you will get to your point, so you, you feel at ease. So those are five communication rules you need to review in your new communication plan. Now this is the last book I recommend to you. Uh, it's uh, from Theodore Zelding. So that's the difference between a monologue uh, and conversation. So monologue, I'm here talking, and you listen to me, you like it or not. Then the dialogue is, uh, well, I give you my cards, you pick my cards, and then we will, um, you know, everyone will think that is right, but uh, you know, it's up to you. And a conversation is that uh, there's more benefits to the conversation to what uh, everyone has to say, and that's something really positive. So it's not dialogue, we're not uh, exchanging, we're just creating new ideas, so that's more interesting. And just to conclude, the, uh, the change management haiku, so think and lead, share by listening, and uh, take a leap uh, without fear. Thank you very much. Thank you.